Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Uh, today I am presenting for the second international conference on electrical communication and computer engineering 2020 and my topic is electrotelegram based communication system for people with logged in syndrome. My name is Sarah Ibrahim. I am a student and research intern at SEED from the Biomedical Engineering and Technology Department of University of Engineering and Technology, Texas, Pakistan. The contents of my presentation include motivation, introduction, literature review, proposed methodology, results, and conclusion. Well, first motivation. Logged in syndrome is a rare neurological disorder with worldwide prevalence uh, of less than one per million. Mortality rate of almost 60% is reported among LAS patients, with 7% of acute LAS patients die within the first four months of the onset. Then some cases include well-known Stephen Hawking. In 1963, he was diagnosed at the age of 21 with amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, a logaric disease that gradually paralyzed him over the decades. And finally, he died at the age of 76 years in 2018. Then uh, Tony Nicklinson. Uh, Tony Nicklinson had a stroke in 2005 and at the age of 58 years, he died in 2012 with Logan syndrome. Gary Parkinson, who is uh, an ex-footballer and he had a severe stroke in 2010 and was diagnosed with Logan syndrome. Then we move towards the introduction. Logdon syndrome. What is Logdon syndrome? Logdon syndrome was illustrated for the first time in 1966 by Fred Plum and John Posner. It is a disease in which the brain is completely operational but limited in body that's not functional and in which a person is wakeful but aware but has quadriplegia and paralysis. Even we can move eyes, uh, patient can move eyes. Uh, there is some muscle movement of the eyes but cannot speak. Even in some cases, they can speak, but mostly uh, cases involved which uh, in patient, patient cannot speak. So eye movements, uh, eye blinking, uh, moving upright uh, and down and left and right movements are involved. Some other terms for Logan syndrome are pseudocoma, deafferentiated state, cerebral medullospinal disconnection, ventral spontane syndrome. Now, Logan syndrome types, there are three types, classical. In classical Logan syndrome, vertical eye movement is allowed with an arthria and quadriplegia, uh, but uh, uh, horizontal eye movement isn't involved. In incomplete Logan syndrome, some voluntary movements allowed along with the vertical eye movement. And in total or complete Logan syndrome, complete loss of mobility and communication, but consciousness is present, mind is aware of the environment around and you cannot move. Then clinical features involved. First, uh, voluntary respiration loss and apnea which leads to the need for mechanical ventilation and tachyostomy. Or diplegia is the loss of function of whole limbs of the body that is also a clinical feature of Logan syndrome. Early nausea and dysphagia Anarthia is speech loss and inability to swallow dysphagia. Now, dysarthria is also a speech loss, but it is mild speech loss. But when it transforms into the swear uh, case, that uh, is anarthia. These are caused by the nerve nuclei damage of the cranial nerves. Then, vertical eye movement, blinking, consciousness, these all are preserved. Causes of the Logan syndrome include trauma to the head. Tumors might present in the brain, infection as uh, it is present in case of the Alzheimer's patient also. So infection in the brain can also lead to the Logan syndrome. Polymyositis, that is the inflammation of the nerves. Loss of myelin of the neurons can also lead to the Logan syndrome. Then amyotrophic lateral syndrome in which uh, muscle inflammation occurs as the neurons aren't working properly. Then what is electroculography? It is measured by the movement of eyeball within the visual field causing the voltage changes. 
in humans, the range of EOG lies within 0.05 to 3.5 millivolt, and it is dependent on factors like eyeball movement and rotation. As you can see in the uh, given image, that eyeball movement is involved. Even the rotation, this causes the voltage to change, and that voltage is detected. That voltage changes are detected in our electrophotography. Next factor, movements of the head and eyelids. And luminescence changes like whenever brightness occurs, you, you uh, abruptly uh, blink your eyes. That also causes the voltage changes. Then previous work can be studied in the literature view. Previous work involved in 2018 high performance panic system based EEG and EOG signals. Uh, this system was proposed with 97% accuracy in 2012 and EEG based communication system was proposed and it is with accuracy of 87% in 2018 then com computer interface panel using eye moments was proposed then steady state uh, steady state visually evoked potentials based brain computer interface with an accuracy of 79% was proposed in 2018 Brain computer interface based communication in the completely logged in state without accuracy of 70% in 2017. 20, uh, 20, in 2009, an EOG based virtual keyboard was presented with an accuracy of 95%. In 2017, an EOG based human machine interface for wheelchair control was proposed with an accuracy of 96%. These were the previous studies, previous work done on this topic related to the logged syndrome. Now our methodology involves data acquisition, labeling, reprocessing, feature extraction, and classification. First, data acquisition. Electroacheliogram data presenting for six classes, including all A to Z alphabet was acquired from the two subjects using Bioplex system with sampling frequency of 1000 Hz. We use three electrodes in this uh, data uh, acquisition process, one placed above the right eye, one below the right eye, and one on the right of the right eye. The, in the figure, biopack system is shown in the table of our data set. All alphabets, data uh, number samples for all alphabets were collected from A to Z and almost 25 to 30 signals were gathered for all the for each alphabet in our data set then is the labeling this keyboard as shown presents the technique through which we collected our data now each number presents the number of blinks to reach the desired alphabet with a gap of three to five seconds for each number of blinks for example uh, if uh, we want to present alphabet A, then for alphabet A, subject blink for one time as the number uh, one is showing the rows, and then with a gap of almost five seconds, again blink for one time. Uh, it is all, uh, actually presenting the number of rows and number of columns. Too. So to reach any alphabet, you have to look out for the number uh, first present at the uh, at respective row and then at the respective column. Uh, similarly, for alphabet G, first subjective blink seven times for the seventh row, and then after the gap of almost five seconds, subject blink for the two times, as it is present in the second column. So, uh, to differentiate between uh, these number of blinks, to differentiate between that uh, it, if it is representing the number for rows or column, a uh, gap of almost five seconds was given. Now, in pre-processing empirical mode decomposition was done. It is a technique was, it, this technique was used for denoising and extracting the region of interest from the signal and it interpolates between minima, maximum, and the end with a certain envelope. Decomposes, it decomposes a signal into oscillatory modes known as intrinsic mode functions. And in our case, we uh, eliminated all the IMFs except for the first IMF as we, uh, our research involved only first IMF. Then comes feature extraction. 
It is an important power for classification system where it is used to extract hidden distinctive information from the region of interest. Uh, in our case, highest discriminative ability who, with features uh, was gained, and these features were 26 derivatives and mean cycle and maximum number of peaks, C max. These are the abbreviations we given to our features. Then classification, sport vector machine was uh, used in, uh, uh, for classification in the machine learning algorithm, hybrid planes that perform separation between classes, support vector machine with five cross validation was utilized to classify 26 different classes and there are 26 different alphabets from A to Z. Now, this is just to gather in our research. This is shown the confusion matrix of all uh, of our results with alphabets from A to Z. Quadratic SVM was uh, utilized and we achieved the accuracy of 87.6%. And this is shown in uh, confusion matrix and also in the pie diagram. So oh, in the end, uh, there is conclusion. Uh, I will conclude the presentation that uh, EOG-based communication system for logged-in syndrome is uh, a new technique, and uh, uh, it, uh, for future prospects, we can say that the accuracy can uh, further uh, be increased. The, uh, based on the same technique and also technique uh, uh, voice uh, also we can add some features like voice production uh, along with the uh, eye movement eye blinks and we can uh, a wheelchair control can also be added and a, a complete embedded system can be developed as is shown in the image uh, with further improvements of course the accuracy improvement to enhance our uh, system uh, and a complete embedded system that will be useful for the logged-in syndrome patients. These are our future prospects, and uh, we hope we gain more accuracy in the future and we develop an embedded system that is uh, helpful for uh, uh, logged-in syndrome patients. Thank you.